Hey, this is a short video about the GeoTIFF format. I have here started QGIS and are displaying three different raster. On top I have a digital elevation model symbolized here as a hill shade. Then I have a depth to water index which is showing the soil wetness potential. And finally, I have an auto-photo. Now, although these are three rather different kinds of rasters, if you have the browser open, you can see that they are all having the same extension, the TIFF extension. TIFF is a very popular file format for images and rasters, and this is short for tagged image file format. Tag means that this is an item of information and uh, these are a special kind of TIFF files. These are geo TIFFs and for geo TIFFs we have a tag containing additional information about the project information and the spatial reference for the layer such as the which coordinate systems which is used. We can look at which coordinates is used for each of these by opening the properties for the rasters. We see for the orthophoto, this is UTM zone 32. For the depth to water index, it is UTM zone 33, so a different coordinate system. And for a dam, it is UTM zone 32. So here we have two rasters within the UTM zone 32 and one raster in UTM zone 33. And other software, these would then not be situated on top of each other, as is the case here. These will be then, then situated two different places because they have two different spatial references. But as QGIS are able to interpret the information in the tag. These are projected on the fly and they are nicely aligned all three of them. However, if you need to do some analytics on them, it's highly recommended that all your rasters and all your vector layers should have the same coordinate systems.